Originally, this was supposed to be the end of 2022 update video, but I was rather ill so it was postponed. That turned out to be a lucky thing because the most exciting developments have occurred in January. No, I'm not changing engines again. A new Clyde is a development kit for FTE. Guys over at Verivisions have already made a game using it called The Waste. Unfortunately, it's rather obscure as it's an arena FPS and those aren't very popular anymore. But they're also maintaining free HL, free CS and other clean room ports of gold source games and mods. All free and open source. Moving to new Clyde would provide a solid base to work upon because it already has a lot of things I would have to implement myself, and the things I've already implemented are more polished than what I currently have. I've scheduled a week-long game jam for myself to see how far I can go with Nuclide in creating a simple small game, and decide after I've gained some experience with it. Whether I'm sticking and making my own SDK to finish the game or using Nuclide, I guess we'll both see in the next update video. Small update I'm very excited about is net rating custom getting some new features and have support for a new map format. I've mostly ignored this map format previously since the only map editor that supported it, World Spawn, was mostly abandoned. The standout feature of the format is the support for four way texture blending. Check out the link in the description for a really clean explanation, but the short explanation is that we can have a lot of control in how textures appear in game. Usually, the size of a brush or a patch can only have a single texture. So if you put a brush with a different texture next to it, there is a visible cut. Old games mitigate this by having in-between textures, but nowadays we can use texture blending to achieve the same, if not better, results. Another cool thing you can do for this, for example, is graffiti. You just need the base texture of your wall, and then the graffiti is an image placed onto it while the game is running. The only other brush-based editor that supports a feature like this is Valve's Hammer. However, Valve's technology is sadly not open source, but Verivisions is. World Spawn is the editor they use to make the map for the wastes. It has served its purpose well, but it's becoming hard to maintain the wastes, Nuclide, and World Spawn. So, a proposal to Net Radiant Customs maintainer, Garrix, has been made. Thankfully, Garrix seems very open towards the idea of supporting this feature. So far, I've made some minor work in that department, and I'm looking to have everything important implemented by the end of February. Very as you may have noticed, these videos are not released very often. The reason for that is simple. The game takes a lot of time to make, and it's not currently my main project. I have a full-time job as a developer, and naturally that takes up most of my time. But I do have a lot of ideas for videos related to development, game design, and media creation in general. I briefly considered making a new channel for all the unrelated content, but I don't want to manage any more channels. On the other hand, I don't think it would be okay for me to just start dropping a new style of content without any prior notification. It could seem like I'm abandoning game dev, but in reality I just want to make more content in between the devlogs. So this is the notification. Going forward you may encounter some non-devlogs on this channel. And there we have it, this is the quick early 2023 update video. Before I end it, I'd like to thank Hydralisk98 for my first coffee support. I greatly appreciate it and I dedicate my next mug of coffee to you.